Okay, so part four. We have the new universal. This is the old universal. You can see the difference. It's got ridges and it's rusted and it's no good. And we're just going to take that and get rid of it. This one, on the other hand, is brand new. No ridges, freshly greased, and now this has to go in there. So, what we don't want to do, make sure you clean the surfaces around you, just FYI, because I'm sure somebody's going to say something about that. But So, yeah, anyway, you don't want to get no dirt or nothing on that. And we'll sit that over there. And so, now we need to take these and stick in here without losing the little things because inside of here inside of the old one there's nothing but inside of the new one there's bearings now those bearings probably won't go anywhere if you're careful you should be able to tap that in there with a regular hammer not the big one a regular hammer like so should be able to easily just tap that in get that started and then you want to take move the grease turn it over make sure that's in there you turn that over like that and then Sure, that's clean. So I already greased the bearing. I'm trying to do this with one hand without getting dirt on it. Take that, put that down in there like so. Okay. Then you should be able to take the old one, right? Stick that down there like that. Put that on top of there. So that's laying on top of it. That way you're getting a good flush flat thing there and it should go in fairly easy. Then you take the little hammer and right here on the collar, you don't want to hit it here, hit it here. Knock that on in it. And the only catch is to get it right this has to go in there that piece has to go here so hold on while I do that because I'm going to I need both of my hands see it'd be easy if I had a camera person does anybody want to be a camera person brother Tom's camera person service person thing I need a camera person so hold on one second
Okay, so I got one side in. Or whatever. Now we're going to put a clip on there. That's going to have to be hammered on. Alright, so let's see if I can't work this up somehow. Oh, can't do that? Okay. Don't know, but that clip right there has to go into that little groove right there. And basically, you're going to hit it right here with the hammer. And so let me do that right quick. All right, so that's done. <laughs> it's like a miracle. So you hit it with the little hammer and get that on there. Now it's just this side left, which needs to go further on. So now we can turn this over like this and gently tap that in there. I say gently because you want to make sure it's going in there right because if it ain't going in there right, this won't do what it's supposed to do. All right. So let me do that right quick. Okay, and there we go. I done put the clip on, clip on both sides, and the way you know it's right is if it moves, shouldn't move too freely, but it'll loosen up. Sometimes you knock them loose, you can knock them a little bit looser, but I don't do that. I just let them wear. But anyway, so now all that's left is to put the two clips here. There's a clip here and a clip that goes there and then put it back together on the van, which is over there. Look at that bad machine there, boy. Look at look at look. Just badass. Just oozes of bad acidness. Look at that. Just 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 the coolest thing on the road, at least around here. Alright, so yeah, that's what we're doing there. And stuff. So I'm pretty sure I done messed this video all up because the camera is being held in all kinds of different angles and stuff. So look for part four, which would be me putting it on the van. And because all I got to do now is put these clips on. And that'll be that. Give me a minute. Well, if I can get the damn thing to cut off. See, it even messes up when I try to get it to cut off. And here we go with these damn flies.